Burnt, blistered and in hospital. That's what Kylie and Charlotte endured after using a common over-the-counter cream. It's banned overseas, so why is it still on sale here? I woke up and my whole body felt like it was on fire. Her skin literally peeling off her body. You were like, oh my gosh, it's your skin. My concern is Prefixamac causes really as severe allergic reactions which have led to a number of people being hospitalised. We're playing Russian Roulette with people's lives and that's my main concern. Over the June long weekend, Kylie Johnson ended up in the emergency room at Canberra Hospital. I had like a really itchy red rash all over my neck. It was coming up onto my face and you could sort of see it growing. This creeping red rash burned and itched and for a while no amount of antihistamines or steroids seemed to calm it down. It didn't work and it just kept getting worse and this rash kept growing, which is really terrifying. And they actually ended up giving me um, uh, an adrenaline shot because my, my whole face was going up like this. Kylie has a history of sensitive skin and she'd recently purchased a new cream off the shelf in her local pharmacy for general itches and scratches. And I had a little rash and I put it on that because it was itchy. And this cream is meant to be for people with itchy skin. She realised it was the probable cause of her reaction, but nothing seemed to relieve that burning itch. After three visits to hospital, Kylie was eventually admitted for six nights. She was wrapped in wet bandages from head to toe, put under a space blanket to keep her warm, and eventually had to be sedated. I really thought this wasn't getting any better. And at one point, I actually thought, you know, I've actually got to have a look at my will and see if it's right. Thankfully, Kylie's condition eventually improved. Patch testing would reveal that Kylie was highly allergic to Bufexamac, an active ingredient in the cream she had used. You've probably never heard of it, but there's a good chance you've used a product containing it. It's the active ingredient in dozens of topical creams found on pharmacy shelves around Australia. I found people young and old, small children, elderly people who've had this, and in all cases they had severe allergic reactions to the point where they actually also feared for their lives. I can remember the looks on the nurses' faces when we entered the ward. Uh, they were just like, what is going on here? They Megan Morrison purchased the same cream, Mediquatro, for her daughter Charlotte to treat sea lice bites on her torso. Charlotte's skin instantly reacted. It was itchy and hot. Um, the feeling that you wanted to itch, it was so bad. I was getting worried about like if it would get worse, if it would get better, or, yeah. She was treated as a burns victim and covered from head to toe in wet dressings. Disturbingly, Charlotte began shedding skin. She also had to be sedated. She did eventually recover, but it's had lasting effects, including heightened allergies to a number of other products. To still see it in products and stuff and be able to get it, up, get it off the shelves is scary. I could not fathom a younger child, a baby, or an elderly person having to go through the suffering of what Charlotte and many other people have had to go through and it's banned in other countries already. In 2010, Bufexamac was pulled from sale in Europe because of a number of severe allergic reactions. It's now also been banned in New Zealand, Japan and the United States. But here in Australia, it's available in products straight from the shelf. They're really weird reactions. They don't look like our normal sort of allergic contact dermatitis. So they may be quite uh, misdiagnosed, which is why people languish in hospital for quite some time waiting for a diagnosis. Rosemary Nixon is an associate professor at the Skin Health Institute in Melbourne who has studied Bufexamac extensively and has written to the Therapeutic Goods Administration, the TGA, to recommend against its use. She says what's even more confusing is there's no evidence to say Bufexamac actually works. There were some French studies way back in the 1970s that suggested that Bufexamac didn't actually have an anti-inflammatory reaction and it was no better than placebo. So here we have this product which is causing problems 
and doesn't actually do anything. Do you think it should be banned? Absolutely. I can't see why it's in Australia if it's banned in Europe, the States, New Zealand and Japan. Right around the, front the current affair has only spoken to cases where people have reacted from using Mediquatro. However, Rosemary Nixon has seen severe reactions from a number of other Bufeximac creams, including some contained in first aid kits. The creams do contain a small warning in the fine print, but Kylie says that's not good enough. Warning, but it's very small. I didn't see it, and a lot of people don't see it. Kylie, what's your message to the TGA? I want the Therapeutic Goods Administration to ban all medications containing Bufeximac and to take them off Australian shelves. I also really want Australians to go to their medicine cabinets and see if they have any creams containing Bufeximac and get rid of them. They're a ticking time bomb. Late today, the TGA told us it's taken action to cancel all products containing Bufeximac. That means they'll be removed from the Register of Therapeutic Goods and no longer be sold in Australia.